Data Builder is where you can build a data structure for your app. Inside the Data Builder, there are data tables, which is the core of your data. Think of each data table as a spreadsheet. Generally, when you organize your data in a spreadsheet, you create a new sheet for each type of data. For example, you might have customers, orders, and jobs. We would do the same with data tables, and we'd name them accordingly. In your spreadsheet, you'd add a new column for each data type, like name, email, and phone number. Similarly, in the data builder, you would add a field for every data type. Keep in mind that you need to define the type of field for each data type. For example, if you want to see an order status, you could use a radio field. Or you could use a currency field for a price. Choosing your fields correctly is essential to getting the most use of your app. Even though you can technically store a date in a text field, you would lose some functionality, like the ability to view your dates in a calendar, filter your records by date, or use a calendar dropdown. Once you've added all your fields, you can change certain field types, rearrange the order of fields, and delete or edit fields. Deleting a field will delete any values contained in the field. Once a field is deleted, it cannot be undone. You can see the full list of field types here, or click Add Fields to view fields in a new window. To see an in-depth guide to each field type, please see our Fields in-depth video.